All right, good morning. Today we're going to be tying a bait fish style streamer, primarily tied with peacock swords, tied in a style of maybe an old salmon fly, something I could use for steelhead, maybe uh, some big brown trout, and smallmouth bass. Not saying that uh, nobody else would hit this, but I think that's going to be the primary targeting species with this fly. What I have in the vise is a Eufring Prime Fly Fishing Wet Fly Hook. Got it off of Amazon. Show the pack here. It's a EP3761 is what the... I uh, bought these a while back to try them out. And they're super sharp. Seems like a pretty good, pretty good hook. So I tied up uh, some previous flies on this and fished them, and and worked out well. So we're going to use it for this little project here. We're going to start with some weight. I'm going to add ten wraps. What I have is a O two O. 0.020. Go ahead and spin that on there. And now, I'm going to add a little thread to it. We want this weight to be sort of in the middle of the hook shank. Just start to thread up in front of there. Press your thread up, your lead up against your thread. Bring your thread up behind it. That way you kind of secure it right in the middle there. Wrap it over a couple times. Cut away your tag end. Go ahead. Uh, Take your thread all the way back to the top of the bend here. Now you're going to tie in a little bit of... I've got this uh, crystal flash I use for ribbing here. It's actually good strong material. Pretty versatile. Go ahead and just tie that in the side there. Bring it all the way back to the top of the bend of the hook where you left your thread at. I'll leave a little piece there. We'll cut that away. Alright, now we're going to add some peacock swords. If you watched my previous video when I used these peacock swords, I buy them in bulk. Get uh, like 50 feathers at a time. Use them a lot. I like to use them a lot. I'm going to take a chunk this big. What's that about? Uh, see, 5, 10, it looks like a dozen. A good solid dozen little swords there. Kind of just line them up. I got, uh, you want them all the same length. Line them up, snip them off. Now these swords have a natural bend to them. Don't uh, don't time in sideways. Just kind of make sure you time in where the natural bend is. A little bent over like that. Sort of like a, a natural bend in the tail. The length you want is about half of the hook shank. You don't necessarily need a very super long tail. Go ahead and lay it right on the top of the hook and tie it in backwards here. Right to the top of the bend of the hook again. If you're pulling a little bit towards you and wrapping away from you, it'll stay right on top. Just like that. You can cut away your 
excess here if you want. Or you can wrap it in if you want a little thicker body. I'm going to cut this away here. Alright, now we're going to add some dubbing. Don't catch your thread there, I'm going to wrap it in. Get that uh, little cut piece. Alright, take your thread, bring it back to right about where the tail is. The dubbing we're going to use is my wool blend. This is uh, the Fisherman wool, 100% wool. It's a dark brown color. I have it in several different colors, but I, uh, I think the dark brown is going to match what I want mostly. You could tie this on other style hooks, but you got to be aware on how it's going to ride. I've uh, tied them on a uh, little different uh, jig style hooks for streamers. And you have to weight it accordingly so it rides accordingly. And you kind of have to tie it upside down too. This here, you know, I tested it, it rides hook point down, just like a normal streamer does. So go ahead and dub on a little bit of uh, your wool dubbing. And dub it forward. there. I think this of the body is kind of really up to how you want it. You can get a real fat minnow or you can get a skinny minnow. This guy is going to be like a medium sized minnow when I'm done with it looks like. Just meant to be a little snack for the fish. Alright. Now you got it all. Let me get that just a little more in there. Tie that in there real good. See how it looks here. That looks pretty good. Now I'm going to take this crystal flash. I have to turn it sideways a little bit, that way I can see everything. Alright. Evenly spaced. You can go ahead and just wrap it back up. Oh, that, look, that looks pretty good. Pretty even. I right, go ahead and tie that off. Couple uh, wraps over top. Trim it away. All right. Now you got your body, got your tail. Now you want some gills. Gills I'm going to use is a little bit of this. It's uh, ultraviolet dubbing, super fine by Royal Sissy. Get it at my local fly shop. Just get a pinch. You don't want it too much. You just want to represent a uh, little redness around the gills of a little bait fish. About like that. Good. All right, now we're going to tie in an underbody. The underbody we're going to use is goose. Just, uh, I got these goose feathers in a big pack. Actually, I transferred them into a big Ziploc bag, but I uh, bought them at a craft store. Walking by, and I've seen all these fancy-looking goose feathers. Look pretty, pretty neat. Figured I could use them for something, and I'm happy I bought them because they work perfectly for this fly. 
So what I'm going to do is just take a big old chunk, big old fat finger full. I'm going to take away first. I'm going to tear off all that fluff on the bottom because I don't want to get any of that fluff. All right, take a big old fat finger full. Stretch them out to where all the tips are aligned. Like that. Pinch them. Cut them off. You got a couple of short ones in there, but take it, hold it upside down, bring your fingers from up underneath the fly there, put it way back in there, back over the past the bend of the hook. You can always adjust it forward if you need to. Pinch it. Now we're going to do a pinch wrap. Take your thread up between your fingers, back down. Make sure you adjust everything that it's right on top there. Here, make sure that's not too long. Let me pull it up just a little bit forward here. How's that look? That looks pretty good. I want a nice big fat underbody like that. All right, cut away your excess. Now we're going to put some peacock hurl on top. Not hurl, peacock swords, I'm sorry. Peacock swords. This is a peacock sword fly. Let's see, I want some good looking peacock swords. Now you want to take another big chunk. Probably about uh, 15 or so. Like I said, I buy these babies in bulk. So I have a lot of these. Got them relatively cheap. Line them all up. Give them a pinch. Cut them away. Now these also have a natural bend like I was showing you on the back here. So you don't want to tie them upside down. Sort of tie them with a natural bend. Flow them backwards. Just give it a nice little loose wrap. It should everything should stay on top there. You can adjust it accordingly if you need to. That one I don't. All right, I'm gonna cut this away before I crowd the eye of the hook. And now build yourself up a little head here. And you can use uh, different color threads if you want. You can use black. Black will look good on this. I just picked this uh, green thread. It's uh, Danville 140 denier. But really any thread would work. There you go. That looks pretty good. Get the old whip finisher out. <coughs> Cut it away. Little uh, Sally Hansons. All 
little bit too much Sally Hitches. Alright. That looks good. <coughs> Alright, there you go. Got yourself a salmon style looking uh, fly there. Good little bait fish pattern for uh, smallmouth bass. Maybe some big brown trout. Definitely uh, a very fishable little streamer. You can uh, swing it, drift it, strip it. You gotta get it wet a little bit. If you uh, just toss it on the water, it's gonna lay on top of the water until it gets all soaked up there. Then after that, it uh, rides real nice. In fact, the rides just pretty much how you look, how you see it right there. All right. Hope you like this video. If you do, give me a little click on the uh, like button, subscribe. If you do, uh, like to see more, and you know it's about uh, trout season here in PA for the old stock trout. So if you're ready to Go hunt them, tie some of these up, and uh, I'm sure you'll have some good luck. I appreciate uh, you watching. Stay safe out there.